I know what I want and I want to be with Martha. Jack, your wife was buried yesterday, mate. If I was in your shoes, I wouldn't be thinking straight either. No, we know exactly what you'd be doing. You'd be getting drunk and picking up whoever you could. You must be Nicole, right? Hey, I am Leah. Your dad has told us so much about you. Welcome to Summer Bay. And this is the dinner. This is where local kids just bought hang out. And I'm sure they do. With her natural beauty and a bit of coaching from yours truly, I think it'll take more than a little bit of coaching to get the bread out of that one. Looks like you've just got yourself a new classmate. You'll um, have to show me around. Yeah, sure. What the flaming hell's going on here? Welcome, everyone, to the start of a new term. Now, as you know, Mr Copeland joined us at the end of last term when, sadly, we lost Miss Fletcher to the world at large. Yeah, after Bartlett's still had a job. an opportunity to welcome him officially and thank him for all the hard work he put into arranging the farewell concert for Miss Fletcher. <laughs> Who, by the way, has interrupted her travels to take up a temporary teaching position at an orphanage in Phuket, Thailand. And we, of course, wish her all the best. Yeah. I'm also pleased to see Aidan Jeffries has rejoined us after his unfortunate accident. It's not given to everyone to get a second chance in life, but I'm sure Aidan will make the most of it and knuckle down to his work this term. Yes, sir. We're also fortunate to have another new member of staff joining us, Miss Curtis, my new secretary. Nice package. Hmm. <laughs> For an old chick. Quiet, please. Hey, bang it. Who's this new girl? Now she. Oh, hot. One more word, Jake. It'll be detention. By a cracker. That's enough. She's hot. What are you on? Right. Moving right along. You're probably aware that this year's titration competition is on at the end of the month. How come I can't get a like that, huh? Oh, that's because um, you're a loser. No exceptions. We're really going to have to lift our game if we want to bring that trophy home. There'll be extra tutorials organised in the weeks leading up to the competition. What was that for? Being so understanding. I know it must look crazy after everything we've been through. Yeah. Well, crazy's a pretty good word for it, love. You know, I might be going a bit soft in my old age, but the minute I saw you two like that, so much in love, well... That was all the convincing I needed. Jack and I know we've been given a second chance. We're not going to blow it this time. Good heavens! It's truth, woman! Oh, good day, Alf. Oh, sorry, Martha. I didn't mean to overhear. That's OK, Colleen. Oh, but is it true that you and Constable Holden are... Oh, <laughs> I'm oh, so happy for Thank you. Thank you, but Jack's not a constable anymore. He resigned. Oh, dear. Martha, not too much information. Eh? It'll be all over town by lunchtime. Oh. Have you know, I have absolutely no intention of airing this family's dirty laundry in public. Oh, good one, Colleen. Not that you've done anything to be ashamed of. It's okay, Colleen. In fact, you'd be doing us a favour if you spread our news. But you've oh. you lost your marbles? Oh, well, I don't know about that. I'm not one to gossip, you know. I know, Colleen, but just this once. The sooner everyone knows Jack and I are back together, the better. Are you sure about this, love? Yeah, at least this way everyone gets to hear our side of the story. Oh, well, in that case... You better tell me everything. <laughs> and don't you leave out a single detail. <laughs> Straight to class, please, people. Let's go. Catherine. Excuse me, Nicole. This is Catherine. She's in your English class. I thought perhaps she could show you around, fill you in on how things work. Um, actually, Jeff Campbell promised to show me around. We already know each other. Thanks. You laugh. Show me the ropes, won't you, Jeff? Uh, the, the ropes? Like, where we go for English? Oh, yeah, you're right, of course. Oh, that's right, I can, I can show you around, no sweat. Jeff's probably got some hymns to learn anyway. Don't you, mate? 
You really don't know your place, do you? How cool is she? Hmm? How cool is she? Oh, yeah, really cool. Excuse me. You wouldn't do me a favour, would you? Keep an eye on the new girl. The boys are already circling her like sharks. I think she can manage. I just don't want the boys getting into a brawl over her. I couldn't take the stress. <laughs> Martin, I think she's just making a grand entrance. She'll, she'll be over it in a while. I'm sure she will. In the meantime, please do as I ask. Sorry, Martin. Are you still meeting with Bobby Clark's parents? They were due straight after assembly, weren't they? Yes, yes, they are. Good job someone's on the ball. <clears throat> You've made a very good impression, haven't you? I do my best. In fact, if you and I were to go out for dinner one night this week, I could show you firsthand what a good impression I can really make. Let me know when you're free. Exit's out that way. And, uh, this is Abel. Oh, sorry. Well, this is us. Showpony strutting around like she owns place. I've only been here five minutes. So off I so. So. What, am I meant to feel all heartbroken that you sad wannabes don't like me? Look, if you drop the prima donna act, you might actually make some friends here. You really think that I want to hang out with you lot and talk about your drab lives and great dreams to become checkout chicks or pregnant to the first guy that's stupid enough to sleep with you? I don't think so, honey. Well, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> hey, they started it. Yeah, well, you're not going to make many friends if you keep that up. Jeff, don't be so boring. Hello, people. Fucky parts, let's get.